This is totally fake. It's too blue. This lens cannot offer correct light distribution as the street light. Not bright enough. One star for this LED solar light. This light is very popular in Africa, in Asia, and also in the USA. You can buy it from Amazon, from eBay, from AliExpress, and the price is around 15 USD dollar to 13 USD dollar. It depends on different power or specification. I can see many people give it four stars or five stars after buy it, and I can see the comments show it's really an excellent product. But for me, I am a third party quality inspector. Here is my laboratory in Shenzhen. We have many instruments to check the lights, and I have experience. I can only give it one star. And in this video, I will explain you why. In my video, totally uh, three parts. Part one, the advantage of this light. Part two, the disadvantages of this light. And part three, if you want to buy the light, I will give you some advice. Now I'm going to tell you its advantages. Number one, it's really light. Yeah. You know, compared to this normal AC power street light, this is heavy. And here I also have another solar light. My God, it's very heavy. So this is very easy for the end user to uh, install it, very light. Number two, it's a solar light. So we don't have to buy the wire or install it together with the wire. We can just install it anywhere when there is sunlight, then it can work. This is really cool. Number three, it has a sensor. So if we use the sensor function, when people come, it automatically starts work. And when people leave, it's turned off automatically. This is really smart. And it's energy saving. It's very cool. Number four, it also comes with a controller. You can set different models working different times. Or you can open the sensor function. Or you can just let it work until the battery is exhausted. And... Uh, Number five, it comes with a pool and uh, some boat. So these are very important accessories. We just take these parts and install it. Very easy and convenient. Okay, above are all the advantages. I think that's why people give it five stars or four stars recommendation. Now I'm going to share you its disadvantages. Number one. It's not bright enough. I compare it with a normal 12 watt bulb and I found the bulb is more brighter than this one. Number two, it uses run lens. This lens cannot offer correct light distribution as a street light. So after we install several pieces, this kind of light on the road, we will find some place is bright, some place is dark. This is not safe for driving or walking. What we need is like this road. You can see everywhere on the road, the lux is uniform. This is good. Number three, too high color temperature is bad for the people's eye. I tested it by spectrum tester. I found its color temperature is more than 9000 K. But our recommendation is less than 6500 K. So it's light. It's too blue. This is bad for pe people's eye. I have turned it on together with another good solar street light. You can find its color is more blue, while the other good one is warmer. Number four, very bad waterproof ability. The Serna told us it's IP65 rating. That means it can work in the outside place. And of course, solar street lights it always have to work outside and there is small rainy, heavy rainy. But after we open this light, we found there's no glue between the solar panel and the housing to do the thinning. There's no silicone to uh, 
do the same. So how I think other people can imagine when the water goes inside through the gaps between the solar panel and the housing, what will happen? Number five, fake parameter. The seller told me it's 800 watts, and just after several days, when I visit the online shops again, I found the same light, the mark 2000 watts. Oh my God, I totally don't trust it. Let's think about it. If this small panel can drive a 800 watt light or 2000 watt light, in our home, we can just buy several pieces of this solar panel and put it outside the window and to drive our TV, our shower, uh, everything in our home. We don't have to pay for the electricity, for the power. But do you think that is possible? Of course, impossible. So this is totally fake. Number six, it's not friendly to the environment. You can see there are many LED chips and they have to be mounted on the PCB. In this case, they have to use the soldering material. As I know, for this kind of solar light, they are using leaded soldering material because the price is cheap. But other people know leaded material is bad for the environment. It doesn't comply with the rules requirement too. Number seven, the battery is really small. It's even smaller than some normal touch lights. So can you believe it can really work for a long time? I can let you know, most of this kind of solar lights, they have a sensor. It gives you a feeling of smart. It's also to cover its weakness and the capacity. Because when the people is not there, it's just turn off. If it cannot turn off, so small battery will be exhausted very quickly. You also have to be reminded that the seller always mislead the end user. For example, this small output lumen light, according to my experience, if they use good quality LED chips, just 10 pieces or 15 pieces LED, it's enough. But you can see it uses 116 pieces. Why? Because they just mislead the end user to think the big quantity of the LED, the big power, the big looming, the light is. But actually, this is wrong. The power and the looming of the light is determined by the size of the solar panel and the capacity of the battery and also the quantity, the quality of the LED. Such small solar panel and a small battery inside, it cannot offer a big looming or long time working. Even the quantity of LED is very big. Okay, above are the advantages and the disadvantages. Now I am going to give you some advice if you want to buy solar lights. Number one, if you want to buy the solar lights for yourself using for your home, uh, this kind of lights, you can still consider it. Mostly because you have no other option. Because the market already damaged. Most of the types are like this. You have no other option. But you can talk with the seller give you the low CCT one, low color temperature one, such as uh, 3000K or 4000K, 5000K. And also to select the one with good setting between the uh, solar panel and the housing, this can offer a better IP protection, waterproof ability. Number two, if you are a contractor, if you have some good projects like a route, definitely, don't consider this kind of light. Okay, that's all the review for this solar street light. Based on the rules of all the social media, please press the uh, like button or give us any comments because this will help us to get more audience and encourage us to make more similar videos.